seminar talk a lot about uh, staying strategic, about using strategic thinking to figure out, you know, what the pathway is for your business, what the vision is for your business. I don't believe that the devil's in the detail, as a lot of people say. I believe that the devil is actually in figuring out where you're going and what strategy you're going to use. And the reason that I said, you know, how are we similar to Netflix is right now, and it's a great analogy for using strategy and for us in the real estate industry. So right now, Netflix is in a fight for its life. It's a multi-billion dollar company that has a cliff uh, looming that it could fall, basically fall over, yeah? Uh, so within five months, and, and I wonder if you know this or you can sort of uh, think around this, in five months, what is happening to them that's going to change their whole world? Put them at a crossroads where they could go either, uh, either they can prosper, at the very best they can stay the way they are, and, and at the very worst they're gone. I mean, that's the reality. The fact is that in five months' time, a channel called Disney is starting, yes? Now, why is that important to Netflix? Because Disney owns the rights to every Marvel movie that's ever been made. And we're talking about um, the biggest blockbusters of the last five years are all owned by Disney, and they're going to pull those off of the Netflix, the Netflix channel. Now, if you take that, they'll also p uh, pull every cartoon channel, every uh, family movie that they've ever made, and there's literally hundreds of them, then Netflix is not going to be left with much to be offering. So imagine you're Mr. Netflix and you see this coming. Um, you're a multi-billion dollar company. What do you do? Because if you do nothing, if you, you go like the deer in the headlights and say, oh, I hope we make it, then the chances are you're not. So what he's done over the last four or five years is he has spent $10 billion on making more content. Yeah, uh, movies, one-off movies. We all love binging on on every uh, long, long-running um, uh, uh series that's on there you know we all love the vikings as jane the virgin there's uh, uh gotham all, all of the there's dozens of them and he has literally spent and he's borrowed 10 billion dollars to make those movies so he's betting the 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 basically betting the business that this is the right way for him to go in fact if you think about it it's probably the only way that he can go so now that brings it back to us and, and you look at this industry and I guess one of the things that I'm spending a lot of time with my clients, with my coaching clients and in uh, training rooms around the country saying is what are you doing? Because you can't go like the deer in the headlights. You can't just stop and do nothing or there's a lot of people right now are going to come take 20% out of your business. Profitability has been gouged over the last 10 years by either salespeople uh, or uh, all sorts of things that have costs have risen, uh, commissions have dropped, uh, in a lot of places that the, the market has dropped. And so we're caught in this uh, perfect sort of storm, if you like. And my invite to you is to say, what is your conscious strategy to move forward? I mean, I actually believe, just looking at what's happening uh, recently, is that middle management, the 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 owners of an average real estate company are most at risk. Yes, there will be, I think, thousands of real estate uh, salespeople leave the industry, but I think the ones that are at most risk because they're most invested are actually what, what used to be called middle management. And it's becoming middle management because of the digital pariah out there. You've got portals who have just announced that they will be charging for loans. They now have control of the listings, the buyers, and they're getting control of agents, yeah? Uh, so you've got all sorts of people entering the fray in terms of wanting a piece of this pie. So my invite is what is your conscious strategy to go forward? For example, um, you know, lead generation, is the future now 
is, is how, how is your lead generation looking? Because knocking on doors, putting shit in letterboxes, I don't think is going to cut it over the next five years. In fact, I made a statement the other day in a training room I was in that I believe that 50% of the first inquiry to sell a home within the next five years will be through digital will be through a portal, will be through a, one of these digital pariahs, or your own digital is the invite, of course, is that you get uh, in a micro market in your area, you know, you can do things that portals and all these other people cannot do locally, but you have to get in that game. So, you know, what are you doing to change strategies? Um, you know, the other biggie for me is that, uh, mark my words, property management, fees are going to come down. Why? Because there are so many people entering the fray in terms of lowering um, the cost of managing more properties. So there are systems out there now that will allow a property manager to manage 300 properties. Now, that means one and two property managers are gone, which means your costs come down. Now, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to bank all of that because that means a whole bunch of people are going to go out to the market and say, we'll do it for less. So property management fees are going to come down. What are you doing there? So the invite is to say, what is your strategy to combat this? Is it you're going to recruit more? Is it that uh, you're going to enter the digital fray by going to real digital agent and having a look at what's on offer there are you going to enter by starting to voom all your properties and keep control of of the buyer inquiry so you can turn that into leads what is it that you're going to do uh two invites on property management that you must be thinking about the first one is lowering costs the same as everybody else you must start using these new systems to get your costs down now. Do not wait any longer. And the other one on property management is if you've got 300, I'm telling you now, the minimum you're going to need in the next five years is 1,000. So what does your strategy look like in, in, in terms of that? In terms of sales, I think the biggest one for you is to enter the digital fray to take your share of this digital inquiry. And that's what we're doing via uh, RDA. So I'm, I'm also talking through these conscious strategies in terms of what is open for you and what you can do, talking them through on Coaching Cafe for Managers and also working with through with my coaching clients intensively one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, hope that helps and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.